guys and welcome back to a brand new video we're here with Dino the master from planet trim and Nick in the back too and today's gonna be a special one we're actually gonna go picking gonna go pick up a new project car now I was gonna say brand new it's not really a brand new car it's actually a pretty old car but it's been one of my favorite cars growing up as a kid and today is actually the day that I'm gonna go be potentially picking it up and it's also one of Dino's favorite cars too yes what do you think about it Dino? Uh, gonna... and here's, a, here's a little hit on the car I'll get one one day I've got a Supra the car he's gonna get will replicate me and uh, Paul Walker and Dom in the first Fast and Furious movie so that's a guess <laughs> <laughs> you pretty much gave it away <laughs> <laughs> alright guys so now we've got a bit of a road trip ahead of us we've got the trailer in the back Take you guys along the trip with us. It's gonna be a good one. something loaded up on the trailer at the back through the camera and you guessed it guys there it is it is a what is it andrew we bought ourselves a fd rx7 boys Woo! oh mate my heart is pounding at a million kilometers an hour at the moment my childhood dream car guys and it's on the trailer <laughs> taking it home taking a red FD RX7. Wow. So excited, guys! It's, it's a um, it's a big step for the channel. Um, and we're really happy to to add this car to the collection and take you guys on the process of us building it and you know just working on the car. So we're really really excited. And by no means it's perfect. It needs a lot of work, but that's good for us because we're gonna have a lot of content for the channel. So. Get excited guys, we're going to be rebuilding a red FD RX-7. Let's go! Alright, we've just pulled over on the side of the highway just to check the straps. Oh my god, I can't believe this is mine. Far out, man. Just to check the straps and make sure Everything's on there tight because we've got a bit of a drive to go. But wow, look at that. I'm going to have to fix that. But I'll give you guys a full overview once we park that up and we go home. Let's go! Guys, we just stopped over to check the car and have a look how pretty that thing is. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's in love. How sexy is that? Yeah. Beautiful, look at that. Let's go. How pretty is that? 
so good looking. So let's get back on the road and we'll see you guys when we get home. All right, we're home guys. Give it a few revs, Dino. Think of the RX-7. Love it, eh? Nice. Nice, Gary. Nice. Don't forget to put the two-stroke mix in the fuel. <laughs> All right, sorry, 2J boy. All right, we're gonna pump all the tires up, take it off the trailer, and then we'll give it a good wash because it's got a lot. you exactly the story of this car it's got a really cool story Here, What's going on? Perry, Nick, What's happening? and Nick, Let's getting the snow foam gun ready, and we're going to give it a good clean. We'll see you up on the tripod, and we'll get started. Still can't believe this car's in my driveway. favorite car and for me to own it at the moment I actually can't believe it I cannot believe I've got a red Mazda RX-7 in my garage my all-time favorite car oh my god
still can't deal. It feels like I'm, <laughs> I'm just minding it for a mate. <laughs> but here you guys, it's mine, she's mine. It's gonna be a new project on the channel. It's gonna be a big one. There's a lot of stuff that this car needs um, to get to A1, to get to my standard. And we're gonna make that happen. You're gonna come along the whole way and you're gonna see it happen. So let me give you guys a bit of a backstory. This car was sitting on a barn up in Queensland for 10 years. He purchased this car 12 years ago. It's been sitting, he drove it around for two years, rebuilt the engine, rebuilt the gearbox. It's all been rebuilt 10 years ago. And then he just sat in a barn for 10 years. As soon as I went to see it, he gave me the key, I put in the ignition, turned it over first crank, started first go. The fuel that is in this car has been in there for 10 years. The oil that's in this car has been in there for 10 years. I washed it with the gurney as you just saw right in the previous few clips. Gave it a whole wash, entire car wash. Hit it with the hard stuff. And it's been sitting for a night now. This is the next day I'm taking this part of the video. And there is already spider webs growing off it. So it is infested by spiders. That's what you're going to get when you get a barn fine car. I got it for a price that I couldn't refuse. I had to get it. All of you that follow FDs know that this, the prices have been skyrocketing. This one I've been looking for a long time. And this one, I'll be the first to say it, was the cheapest one in Australia. So if you find me a cheap one, Add it in the comments, add the link in the comments. I don't want to say prices yet. Send me the cheapest one you can find in the comments and I'll let you know if it's cheaper than that or it's not. Then we can justify the title World's Cheapest FDRX7. Obviously the paint isn't A1. You can hear me, the way I rub my hands on it. It feels like sandpaper. It's gonna need a good, it's gonna need a good rub back gonna need a lot of stuff as you can see here no side mirror but there's spider webs <laughs> still so um we've got a side mirror for it we have our first Bathurst star part it was a yellow side mirror I got given to me when we purchased the car I just sent that off to get painted straight away because I just want to put this car on the road I want to drive it I want to enjoy that rotor feeling 13b twin turbo I know we, we're known for our 2JZ stuff. We've got the Super right here. Um, we've got Nikos Ice 300 getting work done to it too before it gets um, put up on the dyno again. So, sorry guys, I haven't put a video up on that in a while, but he hasn't really been driving it much. As soon as he hits that 1,000 um, kilometer mark, we're going straight to the dyno and we're going to run it in full send on that car. So that's pretty much the backstory of me purchasing this FDRX7. My favourite car in the world. Red FD RX7 boys on the channel. Ah, exciting time. Anyway, we'll get Nick that's behind the camera to come in and let him know how you introduced me to the car. That random phone call you gave me that one day. When was it? A couple of weeks ago? This was all an impulse buy guys. You made me drain my bank account. But it's all for the, the love. It's all for the channel for the love of cars and we don't regret it one bit so Nick so <laughs> here in the garage now we have a red FDR X7 and a white Mark IV Supra which is two of our dream cars the Supra being one and the, and the RX7 being Andrews <coughs> um, a couple of weeks ago I had a conversation with a friend who mentioned that uh, they were looking to sell a couple of their cars and one of their cars happened to be a, a red series 6 RX-7 that had been sitting in a barn for 10 years and as soon as he said that to me I said please don't call anyone else before you, you sell it let me get my brother a call let me, my, <laughs> let, me, let me call my brother because I know this is a dream car so we went and checked the car out it was you know exactly what we we're looking for it's a nice little project for the channel 
and you guys can follow us on the journey of you know building the car up to to, to be that dream dream mm -hmm. rx7 and you know andrew made the purchase and here we are now we've got a red red series 6 fd a white mark 4 in the garage trying things for the channel so stay tuned guys and many many exciting things to come and before i finish today's video i just want to show you guys a quick look underneath the bonnet because i haven't done that yet so let me take the camera close all right and there she is 13b twin turbo all factory like i said it's had a rebuild but it's been a standard rebuild so i lucked out there it's been sitting for 10 years standard rebuild we called a rotary specialist and he said Mate, if the thing runs, drives, doesn't need a rebuild. It's all good to go. Hasn't been through enough heat cycles yet, so... Yeah, it looks a bit rough. There's no rust in it whatsoever. Um, brand new battery. Pretty much all stock. And that's the car. That's my dream car. It's got a bit of a imperfection there because when the headlight opens and closes it um touches the bonnet and that chips the paint off but something we're going to look into fixing and you're going to come along on the journey with me look at that bam bam and it's also got no registration on it as well so we can't currently drive it on the streets at the moment but i'm going to get that sorted during the week it's currently the weekend at the moment so i can't really do much for that um we're also going to need that side mirror i mentioned it's currently in the paint shop getting painted and here's a few paint imperfections i was talking to you guys about too but we're going to try buff them out and go from there and then you have the poor brz in the driveway currently my daily while well, this beast sits in the garage Interior is pretty much stock. That's a stock steering wheel. Cluster. All in good nick. Just needs a good clean. But I'll I'll go in detail with that with using the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit of a different one. No one was expecting this. I wasn't even expecting to make this purchase. But there it is. Wow. Who would have thought two of these JDM legends in my garage? Wow. Anyway guys, we're going to cap this one here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and subscribe for that FDRX7 content that's going to be coming to the channel. There's a lot of videos we have in store for this, this car. This build, you're going to come along the whole process with us. And we're only just getting started, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.